Hi, welcome back to my channel. You see up here, you see these empty shelves? It's because I have something right to my right that I want to show you. And we're going to start with this puzzle here. And I will insert a screenshot of this puzzle as it was completed by me. Now, this is an evil one. All of these puzzles are 1,000 pieces. About half of them are square, the other half a rectangle. This particular one is a square. My experience with this brand was very interesting. First of all, I had never heard of the brand. Secondly, it showed up in my Black Friday list of puzzles that were listed for half price. So these $20 puzzles were like $10.51. So I bought four of them, including this one called London Life. Now, just before I started this puzzle, I had completed a Schmidt puzzle and a Ravensburger. I think Schmidt first and then Ravensburger. And then I went to Ebu. And when I went to this puzzle, I'm just gonna take one piece off. These are your pieces, okay? Very sturdy, but very thin and almost sharp and glossy compared to say a Schmidt or a Ravensburger. So I had purchased four of these and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna box this thing back up. My boxes were still in the living room for my deliveries. I'm going to box everything back up and send it back to Amazon because I felt like I was spoiled to Ravensburger and I was spoiled to Schmidt and even like White Mountain and other brands and I didn't want to keep doing it. But then I started realizing how whimsical this looked. Looks. See that whimsical look? It just it's different. And I'm somebody who loves landscape, but this isn't a true landscape. Landscape, it's more cartoony type or whimsical type. So I kept on doing it. I kept on. I got maybe a third of the way done and I realized I, I like this puzzle. So I did something else. By now it was Cyber Monday. And I have a pre-existing list on my Amazon account called Puzzles. And I went down that list to see if anything that I had earmarked was marked down. And guess what? More of these Ibu puzzles were marked down. So what did I do? I kept this. I put it together. I haven't taken it apart yet because I wanted to talk about it for this video. And this is what I've decided to do. Now, you're going to see a haul video on this channel in about a week. Because there's lots of puzzles that are that have come in in the last 10 days or so. But we're just going to talk about evil. Now, this is called Kitchen Chickens. Now, anybody that's watching this channel that is an adult colorist that colors out of books like Joanna Basford or Kirby Rosannis. If you know the artist Erie, she has a kitchen scene very much like this. So when I saw this on Amazon, kitchen cupboards, no, kitchen chickens, I had to get it. Now, this artist here, let's find out who these artists are for these puzzles. I've Oh, I, I have to tell you something very interesting about these, but this is by Anissa Maku, and okay, this is Monica Fronberg, okay, and this is Anissa Maku. What's cool about these puzzles is every single puzzle on the back has a poem. You get the same image that's on the front, and you also get it on the back. Now, some of these puzzles have something else, and I will show you that with the next one. So when I do my next Ibu puzzle, it will most likely be this, and I will find that coloring page in that eerie coloring book that I did, and I will compare the similarities, but that's why I love that one. Now, I didn't pick out a lot of these puzzles for specific reasons like I did kitchen chickens. I picked them out because they were on sale and because at some time in the past, 
when I first heard of the brand Ibu, I had stuck them in this long puzzle list of puzzles I was going to buy one day. So this is Berlin Life. Look at all the people in this one. And you're going to notice a theme. And the theme that you'll notice is, remember the London one? The London, uh, London Life? Well, this is Berlin Life. And you're going to see other countries represented. And this is uh, Uta Krogman. Okay, so that's Berlin Life. So we've got London Life and we've got Berlin Life. Now, Monica, For Monica Forsberg, who did London Life, also did this one. And this is Swedish Fishing Village. Are these pictures just beautiful? These are, to me, a cross between Charles Wysocki, who does jigsaw puzzles, and Erie, who is a coloring book artist. That's what these are to me. Then I also got... Okay, this is Jennifer Orkin Lewis, and this is Paris in a Day. Look at that one. Just, I have a feeling that if I start working on one of these, then I'm going to want to do two of them and then three of them, because guess what? I have, I think, 14 in total, maybe 15, but we'll find out in a minute. This one here is by Jennifer Orkin Lewis, the same art artist, and I might sort these by artist before I put them back on the shelf. By the way, the first four that I showed you were square puzzles, but this one here is a rectangle puzzle, which is usually what we get. We get a landscape rectangle puzzle. That's the norm for jigsaw puzzles. Those first four, as mentioned, were square, and this one is also square, and this one is Copenhagen. So we've had Paris, and we've had Sweden, and we've had Berlin, and we've had London. Now we have Copenhagen. Okay? Beautiful, right? Where are we going now? Going back to London, Victoria Ball, and we're going to the, an English cottage for another square puzzle. Again, I've got, I might even get an Eerie coloring book just to show you why I say that she, these artists remind me of Eerie. Matter of fact, I will get one, one after I'm done showing these puzzles. Okay, and like, and this one is square, so you have a mix of square and rectangle. This one I fell in love with, okay? This one is family family dinner night, okay? Family dinner night. Look who's at family dinner. You've got an elephant and you've got a family. You've got a, a bear and, and a fox and other creatures. Totally whimsical. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. Again, like I said, this is a square puzzle. These are 23 by 23 for the squares. So they're, they're, they're a nice size puzzle. Then here we have Marrakesh. Can't tell you where this is. Uh, Morocco. Morocco. I have a friend whose husband is Moroccan. Oh, I gotta tell her I've got this one. So we have Marrakesh. This is a market picture. Okay, and our artist here is Miranda Suna Sophronio. Okay, just a few more. Now we're going to Venice. Venice is, as a matter of fact, I just did a Venice puzzle. Not sure where, I think it's this one. Yeah, I just did this puzzle yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. So that's my Venice puzzle there. But for Ibu, I have this one. This is a Venice Open Market. And our artist is Uta Krogman. I think I've seen her name in the stack right here. Okay. Now where are we going? Hike in the woods. This is just, well, I'm gonna tell you two things about this. Other than that, it's a square puzzle, and it's not in a location like Sweden, England, Berlin, or whatever. It's a walk in the woods. Notice what it says, artist playlist. I have to see what that's all about, because about half or two-thirds of the boxes have artist playlists on there, and then some don't. Okay. This one is urban gardening. So just like that one doesn't have a country, 
This one doesn't have a country. The family dinner didn't have a country, but this is urban gardening. And I have read plenty of books where there's a, a garden that's in a central location and different tenants from different buildings all have take part in a community garden and they raise fruits and vegetables. And so that's what that one is. And just two more, just two more. This is Beach Umbrella. This one will definitely be waiting for the summer, but look at that one. Look at that one. I love it. It's going to be great because there's a little bit of sky in there. There's some water and different people, different images. And last but not least, this puzzle, and the reason that I saved this for last, this one here is called Seagull Garden. Now that's going to be difficult, but it's going to be a joy. Why do I have Seagull Garden? Now, all of those other puzzles that I showed you, I got on Amazon at 50% off either by Cyber uh, Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Well, when I had bought my first 10, I said, I'm going to keep watching for these puzzles to go on sale because I want to own all of the Ebu brand puzzles. So somebody said, I'm going to send you a PM. So the lady sent me a PM and said, look, I have this puzzle. Would you like it? So I bought this sec you know, secondhand off of somebody from one of the puzzle groups. And it just came like 20 minutes ago. So that's why I'm making the video because this was the last of the puzzles that I was waiting for. So I'm going to end this video. I'm going to grab a couple of Erie's coloring books and show you why I compare this art to Erie. Okay, I'm back and I grabbed a few of Erie's books. I think I have five different ones and I've got some duplicates, but of the five I have, I want to see if I can find an image or two that I have colored that would remind me of that. Just bear with me. Okay, there's a lot colored in this one. I'm looking for the that kitchen one. That's what I'm looking for. I don't remember because she has uh, one, two, and three, and then she has additional books. But this is the type of art she has. And tell me if that doesn't remind you of these Ibu coloring books. I mean, these Ibu puzzles. Here's another one. And I'm telling you, this, her work, Erie's work, most definitely reminds me of these Ibu puzzles. I don't want to show you all my coloring because I'm not the best colorist, but there's another one, another pages, a two-page spread that I did. Okay, here's a book that I've colored a few pages in. I started this one, but I didn't finish it. And so I think that's why I went ahead and bought so many of the Ebu coloring books, uh, jigsaw puzzles, because of the art that is eerie that reminds me of those puzzles. And so that's it is that country kitchens that's going to be my next jigsaw puzzle after i'm done with the one that i'm working on uh yeah so i guess we'll call it a day and uh let me know if you have the ibu brand puzzles and if you prefer their rectangle puzzles or if you could prefer their square puzzles. So there's one of their square puzzles and there's one of their rectangle puzzles. So do you like this brand? Did you take advantage of Black Friday or Cyber Monday? Did you go a little bit crazy? Now, my next uh, jigsaw puzzle video is going to be a haul video and there'll probably be 20 puzzles on there. I might go over these one more time. So there'll be a little bit of overlap, but I want you to see everything I got during the month of December. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. You know what? I was about to fold up this puzzle, take it apart. Before I do that, I'm going to do something different. 
I'm just turning it around because I want to do a couple other things for a video that I had almost completely uploaded. But why not have complete fun with this? Okay, just pressing it down because I it was upside down. Well, it was the right side up, but it needs to be upside down for this. What am I trying to show you? You know what I'm trying to show you. I'm showing you the pickup challenge for London Life by Eboo Puzzles. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? One camera, I know sometimes I do too, but one camera. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this puzzle apart. 